Good morning, KubeCon. It's my first time here at Salt Lake City. Hopefully all of you have gotten a chance to just walk outside and see the beautiful snow-covered mountains. I really like the space. I'm here to talk about how at Oracle, we are using all the open source technologies to not just build cloud infrastructure, but also our AI platforms. We've had a long history of using open source and contributing all the way from Linux to Java to now using Kubernetes almost everywhere in our stack. Let's get to it. I am part of the CNCF board, and at CNCF, we strive a lot to foster and sustain an ecosystem of open source projects. And not only that, we also try to democratize the state of art patterns so that everybody, including all of you, can use those innovations to solve your business problems. Oracle is absolutely part of that community. And inside of Oracle, we use open source technologies to help drive innovation. What does that mean? Let's take a quick example. I'm here to talk about chatbot. Before going there, let's talk about what Oracle developers use to build something like this and provide very quick value to our customers. Uh, they use all the familiar tools and services. We are known for Oracle DB. However, all our developers get their choice of data technologies to use to solve their specific problems. And absolutely, we cannot not use the latest and greatest AI models, which are also available to all our developers. Now for the use case, operations chatbot. Sounds very simple. This chatbot, the main purpose of the chatbot is actually to provide operators with some data that they can help to use and help the customers they are supporting faster, better, more relevant. So it's very simple. When a customer calls an operator, the chatbot provides some customer context so they can you know, talk to the customer about their experience so far before the customer talks about the exact problem. Next, as the customer is talking about the problem, at the background, the chatbot is collecting specific error logs for this customer to provide a lot of context to our generative AI solution, which will then produce the final results along with all the references that the customer can use to solve their problem. Let's open the covers a little bit and see what does this involve from a technology standpoint. To the left, we have all the data that is ingested, whether it is the customer's logs, whether it is FAQs, troubleshooting guides, all of this go into our knowledge base. The operator, as they are typing in the conversations that are happening with the customer in real time, those, that, the data from that knowledge store is used by our generative AI service to provide the final solution with pinpoint accuracy. Now, the technology behind this you can see a lot of open source here. All of our infrastructure for any Gen AI based solution is all based out of Kubernetes. We always deploy our infrastructure in Kubernetes. Coming to the ingestion layer, we use things like Langchain to be able to continuously learn from all the data sources, including documentation, FAQs, manuals, and so on and so forth. That data store is then used for the semantic searches when the operator is actually asking the question. Next, what happens with the customer's data that is used to provide context. That comes from PostgreSQL, and again, semantic search is used for that purpose as well. Last but not the least, we do use generative AI LLM models, including the open source Llama models, to generate the final solution. Um, this is the extent to which open source is used in our AI stack. As you can see, the topmost layer, generative AI, Everything is brown. Brown indicates we are using all open source technologies there. From any model available on Hugging Face, to Jupyter Notebooks, to the Llama models that I just spoke about, to open search for semantic search, we use everything open source. This gives us a lot of speed to, again, solve that customer problem really, really quickly. Now that we built on open source, how do we help our customers also build and contribute back to the community? We use this innovation to help build up the open source community. Our cloud services were all based on open source standards. As part of CNCF, we do strive to build those standards up. And when those are built, technologies like these help our customers build solutions that are cloud provider agnostic. We built our Kubernetes engine based on 
Kubernetes, of course. We built logging based on Fluentd and so on and so forth. There's so many technologies that we use here. Not only did we do this for cloud technologies, and as I was talking about, all of our Gen AI services, you can see a lot of the Kubernetes ecosystem out here, from Kata to Fluentbit to Kubeflow to Helm, you name it, and we probably use it in our uh, Gen AI service. We're so proud of all the openness that you all can innovate in your terms. This led us to be the pioneers of multi-cloud. Oracle Cloud, when we started many years ago, started our partnership with Microsoft Azure, continued last year to GCP, and finally this year we have AWS. So again, when you build your applications, you can build them cloud agnostic and deploy it anywhere with the help of our systems. We've allowed open source for many, many years. Here are some of the contributions. There are many more that we do on a regular basis to the open source community. Not only do we do that, we have also contributed in this very stage. Last year in Chicago, we contributed $3 million to the CNCF Foundation to help spread open source even more. We're very proud that so many projects have used these credits all the way from Kubernetes to the Linux Foundation training and certification team that uses these credits to provide training to the hundreds and thousands of people that want to use Kubernetes. All of this is available everywhere in the world where Oracle Cloud exists. Our call to action, please scan the QR code so you can find out how to use all of these credits for your own open source projects for absolutely free. Also, do visit our booth to have some fun and play some foosball with generative AI. Thank you, and welcome to KubeCon.